Hi everyone, today we're playing Windows Are Gone, which is from itch.io. See how we go. So I know nothing about this game, apart from it's from itch.io. And it's a horror game, and apparently it's something about depression and things like that. In my dreams, I see this house. It's a very pretty house to see. Bloody loud in my ears. I feel it calling for me. Ever since the accident. I mean, that's a dream house, that one. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Maryland. No, in Marie Maria? Marina. So I answered it. The windows are gone. That looks really cool. Very artsy. Hi honey, how are you holding up? Oh, <laughs> you know, taking it one day at a time. That was a funeral, I wish I could have been there for you. Oh. I didn't go, couldn't do it. I understand, she would have understood too. Oh, where I'm at, okay. Oh, that's... I didn't go. I couldn't do it. I understand she wouldn't. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now. Actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you. Okay, cool. How did you pick up your phone? Did I drop my phone? This box upstairs master bedroom written on it. Okay, I don't really feel like unpacking right now. I want to find my phone. I was just in my hand. That's good. As she arrived at the house, I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Oh, nice one. I love having maps. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Are we carrying our conversations? <laughs> love my mom. Upstairs master bedroom. Sure. I will take it. Hold on. La da dee, la da da, I'm a ghost. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, it's a nice little house. I like it. Much bigger from the outside. Videotape. Once I go to the gym, drop this off, I'll have a look at that videotape. Well, I could look at the map, I guess. Oh shit, where I put... Storage room. I'm gonna put the box so I just throw it away somewhere. They were not gonna reply to you. Good. Okay, I just want to see if there's anything else I could look at. Maybe that's not the master bedroom. So it might be. Yes, bedroom. Oh, good. I'm glad the bath, like the master bedroom, has a bathroom attached to it. It's good. See, this is more like it. Beautiful. 100% with it. I had to find that random box that I was carrying. Is this a normal thing in some countries that you move into a house and there's furniture there? In Australia it's not a thing. Sometimes it has cupboards in it or whatever, but I don't know where I put my box. Take one, my family. Cool. Let's go find my box again. Oh, there we go. That's where I left it. Before I, you know, randomly threw it around. I know, darling. More stairs. Oh, what? I'm just gonna put it on the floor there. Be fine, I won't put it away. See if I care. Fucking magic box. There's a VCR. Okay, let's do that then. I mean, it hasn't told me that I need to put away my boxes, so maybe I don't need to. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. If we realize the man is the same, the man is in the same house. That'll do. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wondered if they were the previous owners in the house. His family, sorry, his wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arm around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. Oh, these are things I always wanted. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease. It's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deception. Is it a dis uh, try again? It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me deceptive deceptive lure tempting me into bite it and overwhelm me with actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls on the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame though, he gets this eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life, and the tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wondering what happened to them, where they are now. Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine, a world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time.
Oh, good, thanks. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the owners of the old owners of the house. Jeez, Mom. Did you watch it? What's in it? It's not porn. I was expecting you to lecture me and not to do that, but yes, I did. Some saw some weird stuff. I don't think you did. If that's your idea of weird stuff, you're not on the internet now. Oh. Or maybe I should have replied. No. No reply for me. Ew. I'll try again to put this in the bedroom. Yes. Brilliant. What kind of tree? has toilets that have the hole all the way to the back. Ours is kind of down. It's not a hand. You know what I mean? Not the point, I know. I know. It's locked for some reason. Mm. Locked doors are definitely what we're after. Our office. Oh god, I wish this was my office. It's very pretty. It's a bit of a clean. That's okay, we can need to deal with that once we've settled in. Can't go straight to work anyway. Oh yes. My own personal basement with a locked door. Oh. I have to talk to the realtor about this. Without me getting stuck on that step there. Beautiful landscape, look at it. It's a big house for someone to move into by themselves. Upstairs guest bedroom. Surprisingly, I know where it is, thanks to a map. La -da -dee, la -da -da. I bet I still get lost though. <laughs> I think games with houses definitely need maps in it. Especially if you should already know where it is. You know, like if they're going, oh, I've lived here for 27 years, and then you're trying to find the bedroom. It's just, it's, it seems, see how charged I get lost. It just seems a bit weird that, you know, it's like in RPG games and stuff like that, if they know, like if the character knows the information. We should know the information. We shouldn't have to go searching for information that our characters should already know. That makes sense. It just takes a lot out of it for me. But moving into a house, obviously. He, she. The protagonist wouldn't know where things are. Living room. Dead room. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, music. That's nice. This place is dusty. Brilliant vacuum. 
with this hardwood floor, I'm going to have to do some serious work on them. The garden is very well kept. Gosh, how much gardening am I have to do every day? So I don't have a box for the locked room. Maybe I'm supposed to be looking for a key. I don't care. Let's get things organised first. It's basement. What are you doing? Where should I? I should... Oh. I looked in there. Right, are you here? Let's go. We'll check the mailbox when we come back out. the lay of the land not I'm learning the lay of the land wait didn't it say guest bedroom this bathroom master bathroom ah but I hope if you read said it Kenzie Stranger, bump on the chin. Hello, hello there. You must be our new neighbour. Yes, I am. Suppose I, I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Hmm. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? I do. Yes, a couple of kilometres that way. Points to her right hand side. My husband and I. She paused for a few seconds. I live there. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Can I help with anything, ma'am? Hmm. Well, Mariana, it's a quiet little town, full of beauty. Oh, yes, we make sure to visit the... Aquarius. Ah, when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. You look familiar? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. It's what they say, small worlds and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Hmm. Can I help you with anything? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something. Oh, it's a welcoming gift. That's lovely. Well, thank you. I think you're going to love it. I left it in your kitchen counter. Wait, excuse me? Don't worry, dear. I know this house inside and out. Why are you in my house? This house has a lot of history. It is very... This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. Do you guys? It's a worry. This house has a lot of history, very unique one. Oh, I've already done this one. Oh, no. Alrighty then. Now, do me a favour, my dear, and try to get some of that pastry I made for you, will you? Try some of that pastry I made for you. Now, do me a favour, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. I don't trust you.
walking into my house, putting some shit on the table, and then... The plate of grassetti made by the neighbour. I'm not sure if I should eat it. It smells irresistible. We ate it. See if we die. Oh, shit. The note just says, welcome home. Shimmer came from that lady, but where did she go? Am I pulling in my house somewhere like a crazy person? We can't check that. As I unloaded the box of thank you into my house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll trip to the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That combined with the odd encounter with the neighbour made me realise I was exhausted. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That combined with an odd encounter with the neighbour made me realise I was exhausted. I decided it would be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. That's fair. Close the door. It doesn't seem up the drugs, that's good. The random keys are not in here. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it'll have to do for now. Have a little nappy nap. She doesn't, she doesn't go to sleep instantly, does she? This time I didn't dream about this house. Probably because, probably because I was finally here. No. This time I had a different dream. Dream about Blackjack. Oh God. My wife and I were in a hurry to get to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. I find myself in my car, quickly driving my, my wife to the hospital since her water had just broke. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Ah, uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked. Now, please hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Why can't I see anything? Why do I have no body? Why are there people in the road? Oh, no, they're not people. The lights. Oh. oh my god, what's going on? Jessica! What the... I didn't do it, I promise. What the... Um, no, I definitely need to get her to a hospital. Oh, Jesus, the Jesus. Are you in the places? Oh my god. Jessica, no! No, baby! Gosh. What a terrible dream. God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise I heard while I was asleep. Where is it coming from?
It's very clearly right here. It's not getting any louder anywhere I go. Check the toilet. Good day to us, and good day to you. Let's have a little num num. Where is it coming from? I can go through a door. Through the basement or something. Nice yard. Big, you know, sharp, protective arms on it. <laughs> whatever they're called. Serrated wire, or whatever you call it. It's called barbed wire, but ours is different. There's a leak in the ceiling, so I get. I guess that's what I get for buying all the bills. Hmm, I had a weird feeling about this though. Can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise, maybe it's the water itself, I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling when I think about it. But I'll see you to it tomorrow. I can't be bothered right now. I've got to go back to bed. Should sure I watch this video too? Video, the VHS tape is labelled Take 2, The Accident. Take this to the VHS player and play it. Yes. I would like to do that. No, I cannot do that. It was not an option. Now that we know where it is, it's all fine. Stuck on the step again. If you don't mind, there's a big old leak. I'm fine with that. Back to bed. I'm not going to put a bucket under it or... I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed. Great. Go back to bed. Maybe if you had a pillow and a blanket it'd be better. Hmm. What do I do? Should I break it? Oh, no. Good morning, son. Your mum told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. I know, I'm sorry. How's the new house? Is that all you were hoping for? It's okay, I was bringing boxes inside yesterday, got tired. I'll get back to that right now. I'm going. Let's leave everything sitting where it was before. I'm 
Upstairs main hallway. Okay. Maybe something good like a torture chamber. Renaissance picture. I don't know. It's a rug. Main hallway. Hmm, the music is getting creepy, I like that. I thought we just left it all open last night, no problem. Downstairs bathroom. done. Last box. Oh, my invisible arms are really bothering me. Because I've been carrying way too many boxes. But again, I don't know why we had such a huge truck with just a couple of boxes. One other tape. Good. I was bringing the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what was I actually doing here. I just on an impulse when I bought this house. But the vivid and recurrent dream I'd had after the accident played, plagued my mind. I, and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. Like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh and need to escape the memories of a dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. With a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now. I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this house. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. First things first. Okay. VHS labelled Take 3 Rumble. I'm sure I wasn't here yesterday. I can grab it though. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in the darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins mysteriously emerge from above and just unexpectedly disappear beneath him. Hmm. Intriguing. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating through the TV screen onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man despair, guilt and regret. Yet I cannot know. Oh, sorry. Yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming in a coherent sentence. In brief moments that I see his face, there seems to be a deep ache in his eyes, 
as if he carries an overwhelming burden on his shoulders. He stammers, feelings of regret, and calls for his family, but he's all alone in the place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if we somehow shared a consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel so broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed. I almost feel too ashamed to look at my own reflection in the screen, yet I still feel like it was needed somehow. I don't care where you go. But okay. It goes on the ground. I want to place it right in the doorway, but a loop. I understand they're trying to make it so it's, you know, you're making it your own home. And it's just this bit's moving the boxes in this, it just feels like it's stopping. Holding the game up. And I just am not enjoying these bits. Just give me a green sign. There's green there. There you go. Stick there. Just gonna see if I can pick up the other um the shape VHS tape. Just gonna The tape shows a man who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with a camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although you can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but you can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds he stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing the first post of the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness and shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words measured and hesitant give off the sense that he is trying to describe a feeling he cannot fully comprehend and that is taking over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he is taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him and mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel his words directed at me somehow. As if he knows I'm here watching this. He's trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events as if they've already happened. But then, why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? What's the point of these tapes? Oh, I finish the box then. <laughs> Just, just on the floor. There you go, right in the middle of the floor. Beautiful. Right spot. Beautiful. Another. Oh, you can turn things. Isn't that cute? Just go somewhere. Top of Telino. I 
Yeah, there's nothing left in there. Okay. Right. Thank God. Oh, why is it? turn this off on and I can just about make up the sound of the static. Is that someone crying? Sounds like stuff's happening. There you go there. <laughs> I'm sure I can make it very pretty, but I'm sure that's the person's ever made this. I'm sure they've intended for that to happen. What is somewhere? Where's that noise coming from? Weird place for that to stop. I wonder if it's been boarded up or something. Every time I go into a room, I just take out one bit of the item. Yeah, brilliant. Go to oven. Okay, bring in the box for tomorrow. And then what are you doing? It's Franco from the Auto Insurance. He's informing you that your car has been declared a total loss. Okay. Blender, that's nice. Feels weird putting away a blender when there's that music in the background. We currently investigate the details of the accident to determine if the liability to determine the liability of the parties involved. It wasn't me. Let me know when you have an update. Oh. By the way, sorry if you lost. Thanks. Noise, I think, came from the basement. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, what is happening here? This is terrible. The leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. We'll have to do something soon or it'll collapse. But I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frightening, though. I know I need to take good care of it. No, I need to take care of it. Not good care of it. But I feel so repulsed. That all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Let's leave that lump of whatever there. And close it up. Mm -hmm. I am I meant to be just trying to have a normal day while there's with noises and shit going on?
Let's have some more breakfast. We shouldn't be eating all day. But I mean, waste not want not, you know what I mean? Oh, good. You can go there. That's more water. Hang on, I'm making this house a home. <laughs> blank message. Love blank messages. This is what I'm meant to be focusing on. Perfect. <laughs> what? Yeah. Baby clothes. Return to photo album. Painting, painting, painting. Baby room. Stuck on the step again. What the heck? Front door's gone. There was a pack door somewhere, wasn't there? Oh my god. 
didn't even notice the windows are all gone. Everything's gone. Oh my god. The house has changed. Storage room is gone. Can't deal with my boxes anymore. It looks different. What? My storage opens and gone. What the heck? My storage. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Storage room is dead. So I'm back to except without the doors and windows. <sighs> I feel like that's a bit crazy then. I'm trying to find a tape or something. somebody Let's see the last one, why not? Open everything. Everything. The PO box. What put the all of light? Oh shit.
Chasing you. Come here. My wife, isn't it? Charlie. Something weird is going on in this new house. Hmm. Go? God, what's going on? It was your fault. Okay, but I... What? Such a disappointment. Not necessary. Why are you saying this? Who are you? Why is my house upside down? She drug me food or something? Oh. God. Basement? How do we end up at the basement? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. This is an extremely repulsive slime form for me from the leaf in the ceiling. It gives up a horrible stench that makes me nauseous. It's alive. Oh god. VHS labels, tape for birth, probably take it. With all the things that are going on, let's just stop and play a video. No, we're not doing that. There we are. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of a man's tortured psyche. Seeing this collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds, and memories, the deeply unsettling feeling somehow merged and played all at once. It is incoherent mess. And barely make out what I'm seeing. Brightens me to my core at the same time, sort of beautiful, makes sense to me. The man's face and body are completely distorted beyond recognition. I ever knew who it was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain reverberated within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering. A mirror reflecting my own battle along with his, the fragmenting of his voice, fragments of his voice, reaching my ears like shards of broken glass, speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world, just like mine. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillnesses. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering, glitchy screen and fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He is now fully aware of my presence and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest, the darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions, in a haunting whisper. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. That man has gone forever now. The tape is becoming a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, causing us to confront our demons that lurk within. Thank you. 
Mm. Hello. No, okay. Just want to see if you want to hang out. No big deal. Some sort of maze. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Things said before. But things aren't in the corner anymore. Jessica, help me. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey, do you see the latest paintings I made? Each one took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know. That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica, do you remember the question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yes, what does God look like? Huh. It's funny, you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we can never truly see him. I really appreciate that, you know. Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I see him now, she smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Yes, I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful, so astounding. So de and devastating. I feel like tearing my face up in the most wonderful way. I'm trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear it? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. See, I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mummy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. Been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Hello, Jessica. 
believe it this time we let you go. No, no, you know what? A better idea, why don't you join us? Laura misses you so much. She's so hungry all the time, we really want to say to her hunger. I can see her suffering. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. Oh, I see. Oh, she's so hungry, look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her then. now then. Yeah, you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. That is disgusting. I'm guessing that probably multiple endings. Making my family go. Fuck out of Dodge. Ever since the accident, Gills has haunted me. So I built a labyrinth. And found my way out. The windows are gone. Wow. So that's the windows are gone. Um, that was actually pretty emotional to be honest, especially that ending then. I actually feel Secrets found I missed one. I have to see if I can go back and find it now. It's always the way. Yeah, I really appreciated that game. I really enjoyed it. Um there are a few bits and pieces that I mentioned during there, like getting stuck on the seven things but beautifully done i really enjoyed every part of that so thank you so much for making it bruno that was really great make sure that you comment below on the video and in the game if there's any games that you want me to play please let me know i really appreciate that and like subscribe do all of that sort of stuff and that was windows are gone thank you so much say scary kittens